hello everyone welcome to another video in this we will see what are exceptions and how we can handle those exceptions in java as per today's agenda we will cover exceptions errors checked versus unchecked exceptions then we will see how we can handle those exceptions using try catch finally and try with the resources we will also see how we can create our own user defined exceptions if required and in the end uh, we will cover few interviewer exam related questions for exception handling. So without any further delay, let's start. So what is exception? It is an unexpected event that affects the program execution flow and eventually result in termination of the program. Exception can occur due to many reasons. Here we are listing few of them like uh, invalid input from user so some sort of input is required but user has provided some invalid form of uh, input that can result into an exception there can be a hardware or device failure or a network connection could be lost that can result into an exception as well if we are storing data to the disk then if the disk is full or uh, the memory is full that can also result into the exceptions uh, exception can also occur due to the code errors and for the input output operations like if we need to read a file but that file itself does not exist or unavailable that could also raise an exception in the program so wherever the exception is raised or encountered anything which is written after that particular statement that will not be executed because the program execution will stop there and uh, it will halt the uh, all the remaining statements which are after that point this is the hierarchy of exception present in java on top we have a throwable class which is extended by exception and error error is further classified into uh, other exceptions like uh, stack overflow or out of memory error is uh, a condition which is irreversible like if out of memory error is there then that will result in a fatal error and uh, application will stop working the only solution to that will be to increase the heap memory and uh, restart the application on the other hand the exception class which is extending throwable is uh, uh, can be handled that exception itself is divided into uh, parts one is runtime exceptions that includes uh, all the exceptions similar to like arithmetic exception or a null pointer exceptions those fall into the category of runtime exception and the other category is like input output exception sql exception or class not found exceptions the runtime exceptions are also known as unchecked exception because these are not checked by the developer during the compile time itself but the other exceptions are known as checked exceptions that is compiler will not compile the code successfully until these exceptions are uh, handled properly in the code by the developer so if any code which uh, we are like reading some file or something then compiler will force the developer to either enclose it uh, in, within the try catch block or add a throws statement on in the method signature so that these exceptions can be handled that's why these are known as checked exceptions because these are checked at the compile time so these were the exceptions that we have checked like we have seen what all kind of exceptions can occur so what exactly is exception handling exception handling is a mechanism to handle runtime errors such as io exception or sql exception it can be any other exception as well the main advantage is like it will maintain the normal flow of the application uh, otherwise if any exception occurs then the program will uh, terminate abruptly but uh, we can handle uh, closure of resources or any cleanup activities if we need uh, as part of handling of the exception as well and also the program will not uh, abruptly terminate uh, it will execute the remaining uh, statements which are present in the program which can be executed now there are uh, three main ways where how we can handle the exceptions in java first one is using try catch block second is using uh, finally and third one is we can use throw and throws keyword to handle the exceptions now let's try to write a program which will result into a runtime exception 
let's try for an arithmetic exception which is divisible by zero so this is my example class so here what i want to do i want to take an input from the user so for that uh, i'm creating a scanner class object uh, let's import it from java.util and it will require system dot input system dot in as an input stream so using this sc we will take input from the user in console now let's prompt the user to enter the number and after that store those number in two different variables so at line number nine it will just print that enter the numbers and at line number 10 and 11 we are reading the uh, scanner for uh, the input numbers and now without any kind of exception handling let's try to uh, display the division result here in using system.out.println now let's execute this program it will ask me to enter the number so let me enter first number 10 and second number 5 and when i enter i can see the division result is 2 so till this point it is fine so what if uh, i enter the second number as 0 which we know that is not possible in mathematics division by 0 is uh, not possible now let's try to uh, provide that as an input and see how it is behaving so before that uh, let me add few more statements after this division of result to see how the program is actually behaving so i have added these two print statements there's some other logic i can have any statements there and uh, one last statement which will represent end of the program so now let's try to execute it now enter the number first is 10 and second one is 0 so if i am entering 0 i am expecting some kind of odd behavior at line number 13 because uh, no number is divisible by 0 so let's see what will happen okay and you can see it has uh, raised an exception in main thread slash i mean divisible by 0 this is the message that is there for this arithmetic exception and have you noticed something else also these two statements were never got executed so as soon as the exception occurs the program execution was stopped at that point itself now we know that this specific line can result into an uh, into a runtime exception so now how we can handle it so we can handle it using try catch blocks so whatever code we are expecting that it can result into an exception that will be enclosed inside a try block and whatever action that we need to take in case of that exception raised that will be defined inside a catch block so how we can do that so it, we will be using keyword try starting of the parenthesis ending of the parenthesis and just after that we need to add a catch block like this exception is we have seen it is uh, one of the parent classes so almost all the exceptions are uh, handled in this specific one but we already know that uh, we uh, we are trying to um, handle the arithmetic exception so let's try to handle a catch that specific exception itself here and in the exception i want to print that there was some arithmetic exception in the logic and what was the uh, actually message for that this is the local message that you will see uh, in this specific statement print so what we have done here is we know that this line could result into an exception we have enclosed it inside this try block and for this try block we have this catch block to see if arithmetic exception occurs then what we need to do as of now i'm just printing the localized message otherwise we can do uh, any kind of cleanup or resource closing as well that we will also see uh, shortly now let's try to run this program and see how it is working okay now it's asking me to enter the number let me enter 10 and second number as 0 as you can see here in the console this specific uh, CISO statement was printed so it was handled properly and one more thing you can notice here the other two statement also got executed that means program was not abruptly terminated it has completed its flow with the handled exception so this is how we can make sure that program completes its execution now this was the simplest of the example that only single statement is there in the try block but in real life scenarios we have multiple statements inside the try block
which could result into multiple type of exceptions so here how it can be handled we can have multiple catch blocks uh, added after the try block itself so here we have only added it for the arithmetic exception so let's try to uh, add uh, some more code and try to handle one more kind of exception i have defined this integer array of size 3 and this specific object we will be using to uh, invoke uh, array index out of bound exception we will try to fetch an element which is out of its bound so we will try to fetch fourth or fifth element in this array now to access that i will write another ciso statement where i am using array and passing the index as 4 so i am expecting this should result into an uh, array index out of bound exception now without handling it let's try to run it once now it is asking me for the inputs let's try to provide a proper inputs so here you can see division result 5 this statement got printed successfully but this time error occurred at line 15 here you can also see it is uh, telling you at which line this exception occurred so it is array index out of bound index 4 out of bound of length 3 so 3 is the actual length of array but i'm trying to access the fourth element and here you can see as we have not handled this specific exception again this resulted into the abrupt termination of the program because these two CISO statements did not get print on the console so there are two ways to handle this kind of thing because we cannot have uh, all the exceptions uh, handled it is possible that uh, some of the exceptions may be missed so we have seen the main exception class that is there which will handle or satisfy all the exceptions so we can add a catch block for that here just like we have added for the arithmetic exception but that specific block should be the last catch block because if we try to add the main exception catch block uh, before any specific exception catch block then that will result into a compilation error that we will see just now let me try to define another catch block with the parent class as exception so this is how actually it should be defined now the array index out of bound will also be covered inside this specific catch block now let's try to run the program again and see the output so now i'm just entering both the inputs and here you can see exception in logic index uh, array index out of bound exception was caught in this specific catch block here and as it was handled properly we could see the remaining statements were also executed and program was terminated gracefully it was not an abrupt termination of the program so in this video we have already covered exceptions errors uh, checked exception versus unchecked exceptions and we have also seen one example for try catch as well so in the second part of uh, exception video uh, we will cover finally try with resources user defined exceptions and interview and exam related questions so in case you have any suggestions please do come comment and if you like the video please share it thanks for watching i'll see you in the second part of this video have a nice day